Hi. So this is a quick little study about um, adding structures in two material prints with the Cubex Duo. This is what I call my little nugget. Um, the nugget has a hole on the top where I'm going to put a screw through. I'm going to tap a piece of metal that's going to come in from the side here through this rectangle. And then there's a C channel that grabs yet another um, piece. Um, so this is how I'm currently going to build it with the bottom of the object right here. Uh, that's going to be on the plate. This is going to be suspended. And this will be open for the bar with the opening in the, of the hole. Um, with that said, this is what I'm going to print with the structures. Uh, I'm going to hide the surface of the nugget. And this is the tree that I built with um, all of my supports. So that's what the support system will look like. I'm going to try to print that out of one material and the nugget body out of another. So here's another view of it color coded. So I'm trying to export the blue as one STL file, and then the red structure here as a second STL file. So let's give this a go. I'm going to start by selecting my outside surface. And in Rhino, I'm going to do a Save As. I am going to call this uh, Nugget Shell. and save it as an STL file. And then I'm going to save the structure again as an STL file. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to jump over to the Cubex software. This might look familiar to you Cubex users. Because I'm going to open up two STL files, I'm going to say open model assembly. I'm also going to uncheck the load as single color button. So here we go. And I am going to import my shell. and say OK. And now I'm going to load my structure. And then done. I'm going to say that no, this is not in millimeters, and it will uh, blow this up to the proper scale. So it looks like this is working correctly, because um, the part here is aligning this with the midpoint of that. And everything else looks completely correct. So now I can take um, this uh, outer shell and add black plastic to that. So that is now ABS. And now with the PLA, I can click and select that. And now I have a two material model part to grow. So we can hit, we can hit build. And for this particular one, I'm going to leave it at 0.25 and thick because I want this part to be strong enough to um, withstand a little bit of stuff. And it's small. No raft and no support since we've put that in already. And um, that's it, really. From there, I'm just going to hit build. This should go pretty quick with the... Uh, it's a, it's a small, small part. I'm going to guess uh, 47 minutes. I'm very wrong. Two hours, but that's OK. Uh, I probably didn't think about the uh, different materials and how when it changes from print head to print head, it, it definitely slows down the process. So there we have it. I hit OK. And I hit save print file, and uh, I'm just going to call this nugget, and hit save. And there I go. I'm ready to uh, print this piece. Here, let me uh, close all for all the models. And I can kind of go through here and see 
the two different materials and how they're going to build. Um, there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye.